Hi there guys, I'm Andre from TechDiggy.com and I'm going to be reviewing the Toshiba Excite 10. Um, it's a really snappy tablet, um, fast response time. Sometimes it does feel a little laggier than compared to the iPad. Now I'm going to compare this iPad not software wise because then that would be opinionated but more of hardware. Now I compared the screen of this to the iPad and it did look way smaller even though it was a little um, longer because I don't know it's not um, the screen the LCD in the back you know closer to you um, there's a bigger gap between the glass and the LCD so I think that takes into play also the um, operating system is heavily customized for this it comes with a, a little bit of bloatware take that off um, most tablets come with that today and the camera is up here or it could be on to the left or it could be on to the <laughs> right down here so yeah um, this can adapt a lot, and I mean it. Um, onto the side, we have a we have our volume rocker, a power button, and then we do have our SD card slide. You just slide it, and then you can put the SD card in there instead of this. And this is pretty nice; it keeps the dust out. We also have the mini micro USB. We have the mini HDMI. We have a, I believe, a 2.5 millimeter or 3.5, because 3.5 won't support audio and phone. So I believe it is a 2.5 millimeter um, dual microphone and output. So we have the App Store and we have widgets. Ice cream sandwich comes with it. Turgo 3 processor, one gigabyte of DDR3 RAM, I believe. Um, five megapixel camera. Camera isn't that great. Um, it's it is lighter than the iPad. Um, it's the I think believe it's also lighter than Transformer. It looks really good from the back. It has the um, matte, you know, finish, and you can actually zoom in this. This is more operating system. How I'm gonna, you can zoom into it, take pictures. You can even take a panorama. And what panorama will do for those who don't know is if you just take the um, tablet and go around you like that, it will actually make a 360 image of what you what is around you and when you took the shot. So multitasking, of course, with uh, comes with ice cream sandwich and you know you could do all that good stuff volume on this is really 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 low um, for some things you know if you're on YouTube the volume actually works decent it's still not that loud um, it, but I've on the other tablets you know the more uh, mainstream tablets you know those the volume is really really louder I'm just gonna go on YouTube and show you what you know I was watching this yesterday to see how the sound is they max the sound out for you guys. Hey, this is Barack. The sound is isn't good. It does have audio okay. enhancement. I'm on you. And the actually the iPad, we were comparing it with the iPad yesterday. Again, that's kind of little hardware. Um and you know therefore, you know, the iPad looked better so and all that. The screen on this is I believe around 125 pixels per square inch. So but uh, it's, it's it's not that great. Um, however, you can see things if you if you did if you do compare it on a more um, high high pixel density device like the iPad 3, for example, you will find out a, a much bigger difference in the in the screen itself because you could read the text so much more clear when it's so small because it's you know it, the, the the accuracy is phenomenal. Um, on that one, but this one is kind of decent. I, I have the actually the the text increased right now, large text, because um, my parents who also use this, you know, they they need the large text, of course, because they're a much uh, larger age than I am. <laughs> but anyways, so also that this, there's the screen that's the problem I found, and there's the audio. So another big drawback they have is that the Toshiba hasn't really updated the tablet since Ju July time. So that means the last time was actually a performance update and I have it updated right now. But I hope to expect to see, you know, I hope to see Jelly Bean on here in a couple of months. I'm going to get um, a little more tablets for us to review. You know, just keep you guys checked up. And just to go over the cons real quick, uh, the screen isn't perfected. It's, it's good, but it's not amazing sound isn't that great either from a scale of 1 to 10 i would say i'll give it a 3.5 to a 4 sound isn't that loud nor it is clear back camera it's 5 megapixels 
even though it's 5 megapixels, the zoom is digital and it does get pixelated. Also, there is manual focus. I can touch where I want to focus and it will focus there for me. Really neat feature. Most tablets have that. Thing is, it's really slim and it's really light. I can literally carry it between my pinky and my other finger right here. Really nice and uh, that's it. Um, other than that, you know, it's good for the $300, um, $350 to $300 price range. Only thing you can probably get better with a little bit more money is maybe the Sony. I'm not sure. Otherwise, if you want to go with the Asus, probably the Transformer Prime. Or you can go, if you're not minding, not mind switching operating systems, you can simply go with the iPad, which might be replaced in March of next year. So guys, stay tuned and keep watching. We are working hard right now to bring you more tablet reviews just like this one.